big goals for this weekend and I wanted to bring you along with me. I've been feeling overwhelmed because I've started a bunch of little pieces of this costume and haven't really finished any of them. So my goal for this weekend is to finish a couple of things. Um, more than a couple, hopefully, honestly. So I have a pile of sewing in my lap that I want to show you. First thing is I have some straps that I've cut out and then didn't finish sewing because I thought I was out of black thread. I'm not. So these straps, they're boring to make. I'm going to finish putting edges on them this weekend. The second thing is I um, sewed one piece of calf armor. This is like, it like goes around the back of the calf like this. I put together one of these. Uh, I'm gonna put together the other. And then I also am going to strap them. This will be strapped. I'm promising you and myself and the universe. The third thing is I started um, arm sleeves, bicep armor, whatever, video game armor, it's stupid. And um, this is looking pretty cool. I think it's gonna work. So I actually wanna start over with this, not use this actual piece, because I put a bunch of holes in it sewing the seam wrong. So I'd like to start over with this, finish the one arm, finish the other arm, and hopefully this won't need strapped since it'll just slide on. So I, uh, I'm off the hook for this one. The third thing is my vest is like 90% done. Maybe less than that, maybe 80%. <laughs> um, and I just need to like do it, I just need to finish it. Do you have this problem where you just get like so close to being done with a, a piece and then you can't get yourself to do like the final step? Like I find strapping to be so difficult. And I don't know if it's because it means that you're done with it and like you have to live with how it came out or because strapping is boring or because it's hard. I don't know, I just can't, I, I always get to this point where it's like, time to finish a thing and I just I can't get past like the 90% mark but that's what this weekend is for things are going to get done and I'm going to be able to check mark things and it's gonna feel amazing straps are so boring to make but they also are pretty mindless so I'm trying not to complain about having something to do that doesn't take 100% attention um, and that doesn't make me nervous like working on <sighs> those dang swords am I ever gonna get to the axes Got a mental block about those. It's because I want them to work so badly. Like, I just want them, I want them to spin, I want them to look cool, and I don't want to kill myself carrying them around. And I feel like I'm only gonna get to pick two <laughs> of those things. Alright, I'm gonna move 
on to the um, calf armor. I have all but one of the pieces cut out, but I missed one yesterday. So, let's see, four. Number four. Number three. Number, oh, that's a mess up. Number two. So I need number one. This is how I keep my patterns when I'm like actively working on them. It's just labeled with a piece of tape um, and then paper clipped together. At the end of the project, I'll decide whether I actually wanna keep this pattern. Like, will I realistically ever use this again? Um, in this case, you know, probably not, but in the case of something like more generic than this, I might, I might just leave it in masking tape or I might actually transfer it to like thick paper and then put it into my pattern collection that I keep. But for now, this just kind of travels around with me as I'm actually working on this piece. So here, number one, that's what I need. When I pin pleather, I pin like, as opposed to pinning like this, I pin like this so that I am not getting holes in the pleather on like the part of the fabric that you will be able to see. The only holes are right along the seam line. So like this except ideally neater. So this is what the seams look, seam looks like straight out of the sewing machine. Um, it's pretty lumpy. So I'm gonna go ahead and top stitch. I don't know, I don't know if you're supposed to top stitch like when you're done with the garment or as you do the seams. You know, I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm just, I just make it up as I go and when it comes to top stitching, I tend to do it as I make the seams because then the pieces of fabric are easier to handle um, and it seems to go pretty well. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So, top stitching is done. And there's a piece of the calf armor um, all put together. I think you can see what a difference um, doing the tap top stitching makes. I mean, not only does it make it lay flat and not poofy, other than the the shape it's supposed to have because of 
you know is going on a round piece of the body but it also adds some detail and interest that it wouldn't otherwise have so let me show you again what the finished piece looks like this is like the all of the pieces put together and the edges hemmed so that's what we're going for with the second one time for piece number three make sure i'm looking at number two and this edge so the first thing i do is match up the corners and then just send a pin straight through the corner and make sure that i'm hitting both exactly on the corner like that see that and then from there i can actually start along the line and make sure each side is on the line or or within my error of margin there and then i'll go along the whole line the whole seam and make sure all the pins hit the lines said earlier I have no idea what I'm doing this project has been a huge um, learning project in terms of sewing like I have never sewn this many pieces and to this level of what you know the quality that I'm expecting out of this costume so, I know I'm doing a lot of stuff wrong. Like a lot of other cosplayers, I'm totally self-taught and probably like hack a lot of things the way a professional would gag. <laughs> but, I mean, like, I'm willing to make things several times like i'm feeling like i have the patience for this costume to like make it a learning exercise for me and i don't feel like that with every costume like sometimes i just want to get it done whether that's because i have a deadline or because i'm just like excited to more excited to wear the thing than i am to make it like with this one, I feel like I'm more excited to make it than I am to wear it. Okay, so I finished the basic construction on two calf wraps so those still need straps here I am 90% done with a piece of armor and I'm moving on to something else so <sighs> the trip to Joanne's is going to happen I am going to buy some zippers and then I am going to finish some things in the meantime I have another long strip of pleather that I'm going to make into a strap. Woo. That was a cat sneeze. <laughs> okay, I'm moving on. 
to um, working on the arm wraps. I realize that I'm not providing a whole lot of context for anything I'm doing. Like I'm just saying I'm making this piece of armor or I'm sewing this thing. Um, so here is our reference photo. The black pleather um, strips that I was working on earlier are these um, like calf cover things. And what I'm working on now are the arm um, sleeves. I'm calling them sleeves. I don't know what they are. They're stupid. Um, I'm making them a little bit more detailed than what they are in the game because I think they will look pretty. So uh, I need to recut out a few of the pieces for the um, left arm and then I'm going to make it. And then if it turns out good, if I like it, I'll cut out the pieces for the right arm and make it. But I don't wanna cut out all the pieces until I know it's gonna work. So yeah, time to cut out some pieces. Who made this? <laughs> All right, um, it's a mess. My machine is skipping stitches, uh, which I just got it serviced for this week, like literally two days ago. So I'm gonna take a break and come back to this later. Hello, it is Saturday. Um, early evening and I have not gotten a whole lot done today. I didn't even feel like getting the camera out because I'm feeling really frustrated. My sewing machine refuses to work with this fabric. I, I made quite a few pieces with it and it was fine and now I'm trying to do these arm wraps and it just will not cooperate. It's just skipping stitches and looks horrible. Definitely not going to work uh, the way it is. So my goals for this weekend are not going to happen. Um, I also didn't consider that I really can't go up to get zippers because it's the weekend before Christmas. So really I made bad goals. Um, so I'm going to do something else. I think I want to strap the calf wraps that I made yesterday. That should be something that's pretty easy. I can just get it done and then feel better about this project. Um, Cause I'm feeling nothing's really going together easily right now. So I need a quick win so that I can feel better. So yeah, I think I'm gonna clean up a little bit because I have a bunch of failures sitting on my table in front of me right now and then strap those calf wraps and then those will be completely done. Woo! collection. I have my actual armor. I have my assistant and I have my pants. The actual pants that go with the costume. So 
I'm going to try to just put elastic on the front of these since the front will be entirely covered by another piece of armor. I'm hoping I can just make them slip on. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm just gonna fit them. And you're gonna help, I think, maybe. <laughs> I'll be, I'll be, okay. these on to place the elastic and pretty much immediately decided that the elastic was a bad idea. So instead I'm going to use these purse straps. I'll show you once they're on. These are purse clasp things that I use to strap a lot of my armor and attach capes and stuff like that. So I think I'm going to use these instead and we'll see how that goes. These clasps are really easy to use. Um, it's four total pieces for one connection. These are the bits that actually connect. It's nice because there's a there's a magnetic connection, but there's also a, a physical connection. And then each one of each half has a washer that goes on the other side of the fabric or the foam or whatever you're using it on. Um, so it's four total pieces for one connection. For these, I've marked where it fits folded over like this. So I know I'll just need a bit here, a bit here, a bit here, a bit here, and then the same thing on the underside of the other half. I am sitting on the ground with my boots and my shoe armor and was working on putting Warbler on these. Um, I also wanted to show you my finished calf sleeves. So here's a sleeve that's done, 100% done, imagine that. Um, here are the purse snaps that I was talking about. So we've got female on this side and male on <clears throat> this side. And then they just snap together um, just down the front of the calf. Um, super easy. I, I bought a hundred of these purse snaps and have used all of them and bought, bought a second hundred. So I highly recommend these. They don't, they're not strong enough to hold on something that's super heavy or that is gonna be like, that you're gonna be swinging around or something. But for something like a light cape or, you know, bracers, something that's not super heavy, I, I just, I use them all the time. I love them. They're so much easier to use than Velcro or elastic or just regular magnets. So, and I use, when I'm using them with foam, I'll just put a, I'll put them through a piece of two millimeter foam and then glue the two millimeter foam into the piece of armor. Um, and it, it works awesome. I highly, highly recommend these. So those are done. Um, and I've moved on to the foot armor. I have, the heel pieces were blood up. So is this the right foot? Yeah. So this is the back of the heel. And then this is the front of the foot. It'll be like that. Um, but I need to cover this in warbla. So that's what I'm gonna do now. And I'm gonna get that done in like 45 minutes, but that seems ambitious, so we'll see. Do I say that all the time? Yes.
Hey, okay, so I'm ready to be done with my evening, with my day. Um, still Saturday, but I'm pooped. Um, so I got what I wanted done. These still need a little work. They have some rough seams, but I think they're really pretty. And um, I don't think I'm even gonna need to strap them because they fit really tight and then they just come off. Pretty pumped about that. I was nervous about these for some reason. So cool. Um, I also wanted to show you, these are the gloves that I use with my um, heat gun when I'm doing Warbla that I should use and I don't always. There's no reason. I don't have a reason for not using these. I don't think that you lose really any dexterity and they protect, I mean, I can't feel any heat through them. So like I highly recommend these and I need to learn my lesson and use them every time I use, every time I work with Warbla and I just, don't and regret it every time so um yeah today was frustrating but i'm happy that i ended up getting stuff done anyway and um i have something 100 percent completed that's huge for me so i'm calling it a win um i'll see you tomorrow hello it is sunday um the sunday before christmas and I have my space heater running. I have my family Christmas today, so I don't expect to accomplish a whole lot today, but hopefully a little bit. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is update my progress from yesterday in my tracker. And then I'm going to tidy because I am incapable of accomplish any, accomplishing anything in a mess. And then I don't know, I don't know what I wanna do. I'm still feeling sad and demoralized about the goals that I set for this weekend that I am not even close to accomplishing. So I don't know. Hopefully while I'm cleaning, I'll feel inspired to do something else. I don't know. <laughs> do that first. difficult things <laughs> or things that I want to work on but can't so okay I'm gonna pull up the model on my computer from the game and look at it and hopefully get an idea of what I want to do from that <laughs> Eh, I'm a mess today.
Hello. It is Monday. Um, I was originally planning on just vlogging Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and that being th my vlog, but I don't feel like I came out of the weekend in a good spot in terms of making. So I wanted to talk one more time before I close the thing out. Um, and I'm also putting a second layer of wood glue on these boots. Wood glue is nice because it's sandable. So I put two or three layers on and then like do a, a layer of sand. And then I do some sanding. <laughs> Um, and that smooths out the texture, both of the brush strokes from putting the wood glue on and also the texture of the warbler itself. So, um, it works really well, or at least it has for me in the past. Um, in terms of this weekend, like, I... I'm so disappointed about the arm wraps. I'm really, I think those will be so pretty if I can get them to work, but I'm starting to think that maybe they're just outside of my skill set, of the skill set that I have right now, which I have been okay with in the past. And really, I was overachieving on them anyway. You know, I was trying to make them prettier than what they actually are canonically. So, I don't know if I'm ready to give up on them, but I'm definitely going to set them aside for a while and maybe tackle something else, uh, like the axes. Um, and go back to them when I'm feeling better. Because I, they just, they frustrated me so much this weekend, especially since I'm so, I was so like hyped to get them done. So yeah, that made me sad, but I was not expecting to make it this far on these boots. So I went in the weekend with three goals, get those brown straps hemmed, which I did, get the calf pleather pieces completely done, which I did, and get the arm wraps completely done, which I tried. Like I put a lot, I probably worked on them for three hours and just didn't make any progress at all. So like, <sighs> trying to forgive myself. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing to forgive. I tried and it, it, wasn't, it wasn't for a lack of trying, it was for a lack of like skill or knowledge or mechanical, you know, my sewing machine was being a butt. So maybe it's, maybe it's more of a lack of like technical tools. I don't know, anyway. Going to try not to think about those for a little while. Um, and I can work on armor instead since I know how to do that. <laughs> I think one thing that makes this costume a little difficult, well, there are lots of things that make it difficult, but one of the things that makes it difficult is that I have no deadline for it. Um, like I have no like goal con or contest or photo shoot or anything for it. So I set these like arbitrary timelines for myself just because I want to make progress and then like get upset when I don't meet them when I have literally zero reason to have those timelines in the first place other than just motivation. I guess I'm learning about myself. <laughs> so, maybe that makes it all worth it. All right, 
always done. You know, I have this thing where I can't seem to finish anything completely. You know, I get a piece of armor to 90% and then don't want to strap it. Get a garment to 90% and don't want to put a zipper in. And then I get upset at myself because nothing's done. It's just like, I do this to myself. <laughs> Like if you want to check things off of your list and feel like you're, you're making progress, then maybe you should actually finish something. And it's not like putting straps on the armor that I've made is going to somehow ruin them you know it's not like the next step i have to do is something that i'm scared of that i'm consciously scared of like maybe i'm unconscious subconsciously scared of it i don't know why i do find strapping difficult and frustrating but I love checking things off of lists so I wish the one would help override the other I didn't strap my stole either I made that stole last week I'm really happy with it and now it's just draped on the vest, like just laying there. How long will it take to strap it? Like 15 minutes. Okay. My goals for this week are <laughs> strap my bracers, strap my uh, shin guards and strap my stole and that should be like two hours of work including making the straps and then i'll have three completed pieces of this costume that would be that would be a great way to welcome in the new year with actual finished Thingy, thingies. That's what we call pieces of artwork, right? Thingies. Anyway, um, I hope this hasn't been a downer. I have been thinking a lot about my social media feed and how scared I am to ever post like ugly work in progress photos even though I feel like even beautiful pieces go through really ugly phases and I'm just not willing to show that yet so I thought that video would be a better opportunity to show ugly phases both like physically ugly um, but also the doubt and struggles that I go through as an artist and as a maker and that I know other people go through too um, I'm so excited about this project I have been excited for six months now like I'm having so much fun so I don't want to leave my first video like 
I don't want to leave you feeling like, oh, she's so discouraged and sad because I'm not. I'm sad about the arm wraps. I'm happy about my progress. I'm happy about the costume. I'm really, really happy about everything that I'm learning and all the practice that I'm getting in. So thank you for spending the weekend with me and um, for listening to me and for being my therapist for the weekend. And um, I hope you had a really great weekend too. See you in the next one.